overall winners in the 55th Rolex 24 at Daytona. Co-drivers in the number 10. Monica Minolta, Cadillac, DPI, VR, Ricky Taylor, Jordan Taylor, Max Angelelli, and Jeff Gordon. This is the first ever Rolex 24 victory for Cadillac. First Rolex 24 victory for Jordan, Ricky, and Jeff. Uh, this is the second Rolex 24 victory uh, for Max. Last, uh, last time was 2005. Uh, this was also Max's final race, which we will get into in a moment. Uh, Jeff's only previous Rolex 24 start came with the same team in 2007, and he finished third with uh, with with Wayne, Max, and uh, Jan Magnuson as co-drivers that day. 15th U.S. sports car, uh, major U.S. sports car victory for Jordan and Ricky. Uh, eighth in the WeatherTech Championship. The other seven came in uh, Grand Am. 20th career U.S. sports car win for Max. The uh, margin of victory was 0 0.671 seconds. As a note, the closest margin of victory in the series history, or in the Rolex 24 history, was 0 0.167 seconds in 2009. So not quite a record, but obviously very, very close. So, gentlemen, congratulations. Wayne, why don't you, uh, why don't you take the first word, if you could. Uh, you know, there was a lot of talk about uh, unfinished business throughout this entire uh, run up to the Rolex 24. Looks like you've uh, you finished that business, and uh, just uh, tell us uh, what this one means to you. Yeah, I'm not, I, first I, I, I got to thank everybody uh, certainly for being here. But um, you know, Cadillac uh, Max and I drove back in early 2000, part of our career, and uh, the program ended shortly. But I always believed it, and wanted to come back with Cadillac and have this unfinished business. And I think today, with Ricky Jordan. Max and Jeff, they gave it, they gave it to me, and um, you know it's just been such an honor to have Jeff on board. You know he came in 2007 with us. We finished third when I was still driving. And another special thing is is that Max and I were teammates for so many years, and it's not it's not anything that I've ever hidden before or today. He was always the worst teammate I ever had. <laughs> but um, but um, you know, we, we won the 24 hour together in 2005, and we won the championship together. And now he wins the 24 hour with my kids, which is, I mean, really, really special. And um, I just have to thank my boys, and Jeff, and Max, and Connick Minolta, and Cadillac, and my friends, Mike Pate, and just everybody that has supported me over these years. As I said to Jeff, you know, in sports car racing, it's not like NASCAR. We race for the love of the sport. We actually pay to race. And, and so we lose money every single year, and it makes the money. That's why I race for free. <laughs> I don't know, man, I've got to tell you something. Can you believe it? I got in for free. <laughs> and, and in fact, I made him pay for the paint on the car. So, of course, he sold it to his sponsor. But uh, anyway, um, i I, I got to tell you, I don't know how anybody could top this. I, I really don't, and um, um, thank, you. thank you. Thanks, Wayne. Jeff, let's let's move over to you. You've you you know you've won races here, certainly in at uh, Daytona International Speedway. You've you've won uh, the, the the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup uh, a few times in your career. Uh, how special is uh, is this one? Well, and, and you know, hearing Wayne talk about this experience and, and what this means to him, and, and you know, I don't limit that to just here uh, in this moment. I, I, I think about starting that out in 2007 when we spoke and, and I was able to be a part of the team then. I saw it then and, and I followed it very closely ever since. I've become a big fan uh, of this team by being a part of it, a big fan of the series, this race especially. Um, and, and I was so thankful when I got that call from Wayne earlier this year, or in 2016, and he asked me you know, if I wanted to be a part of this, and then of course told me about the Cadillac program that they were working on, and I, I, I just couldn't believe it. It was like a dream come true for me because I've always dreamt about driving a car, a beautiful, amazing uh, you know, car that, that could handle like this, that, had the technology like this and, and compete in a race like this. So, um, you know, this is very surreal to me. 
uh, this whole this whole experience and moment to 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 have this in um, you know on my resume. I mean, it's a very elite group that's won the Daytona 500 and the, and the Rolex 24. Uh, together uh, that's that's something I'm very very proud of but I think more than anything is this experience for me of it's not not to take anything away from 2007 Max and, and, and I realized in 2007 what an amazing race car driver both of these guys are um, and how difficult this race is but these two over here uh, you know this experience to me was about building this bond and this friendship uh, that I didn't expect to happen because of the way they welcomed me in and we had a lot of fun along the way. Um, they answered all my questions because uh, I had a lot of them. Uh, and and they, they helped me adapt and that's what helped us as a group, I think, to go out there and win. And then I, I, I was able to learn just how talented they are. And all, I mean, I was so impressed over the, the watching all night. I was glued to the TV every second, every lap. I couldn't sleep because uh, I wanted to watch these guys do what they did in the rain and the cold and the most treacherous conditions. And they did it uh, at a level that, I'll be honest, I'm not capable of doing. And, and I was so impressed. So then you go to the last stint in this final race of a 24 hour race and you see it come down to that. And it was a thrill of a lifetime. And, I, and I'm just so honored to, to be sitting here and be a part of this experience.